Hello, welcome to the video guide about flashing firmware packages to Windows Phone devices. First let's see what is flashing a phone, writing a pre-made firmware package to the phone to replace the current OS completely can be called as flashing, also referred to as reflashing, all of you must have at least used Windows device recovery tool for that purpose but in this guide, we will show you how to do it without this official tool. Now you may wonder why you need to know this when there is the official tool, the reason is that the official tool will not stay active for much longer time and it's always best to know the alternatives which gives you more better control of the process as well. So in this video guide, we will show you how to both download the firmware package and then how to flash that to your phone. But before heading into that, let me put out all the info you will need to be aware before doing that. First, let's see what happens after flashing. After flashing the phone, you will lose anything stored in your phone. That means, every apps, games, files, documents, musics, accounts and everything will be gone. Furthermore, the firmware package you flash will mostly include an older OS version so your OS version will downgrade as well. To know the exact OS version you will have after flashing, look in the below text boxes and identify which one is for your Lumia model. Now to clear out the confusion between flashing and hard reset. Yes, these two are completely different things. Flashing deletes everything and will reinstall the OS which will result in downgrading of the OS version while the hard reset will only clear the data and will not downgrade the OS version at all. And also a hard reset can be done in the phone itself while the flashing must need a PC. So don't be afraid to hard reset your phone thinking of it will downgrade the OS version. But, when do you need to flash the phone? There are a lot of reasons to have a needing to flash the phone, it's entirely up to the state of the phone and according to the user, if the phone is not working properly and the hard reset doesn't help too, then that's a good reason to flash the phone. And also if you think your phone is a mess, then start afresh with a reflash. And there can be more reasons and as I said, it's completely up to the state of the phone. On to the next note, and the answer is no, you should not and also you cannot flash any FFU you find to your phone, Every phone has its own firmware and we will show you how to download that as well in this guide. And there is also the custom FFU. That is also a no, you cannot flash any individual or community made FFU using the procedures in this guide. They are not production signed hence need special requirements and procedures to flash them. And that is all for the introduction notes, let's head into downloading firmware and flashing them to your phone. So, first we need to install Windows Device Recovery Tool. What we need is not really the Windows Device Recovery Tool but the drivers bundled along with it. So install it. You don't need to run the application. Now, let's download the firmware package for your device. We are going to use Windows Phone internals for that. Connect your Lumia device to PC and run Windows Phone internals application. First time, you will be presented with the disclaimer, read it and click continue. Now you will see the details of your connected Lumia device. To download the firmware package hence the FFU file, go to download section. There, the text boxes should be already filled automatically with the connected device details. All you have to do is click search. After some seconds, you will get the FFU and the emergency files of your device in the list. You can either click download all or select the one you want from the list and click download selected. Once you press either any of them, scroll to top and you will see the download progress. Wait until it's completed. This is where the downloaded files will be saved and you can copy the package from there to anywhere. Note that it's a hidden directory.
Before proceeding to flash the Lumia, please take these notes into notice. Now all left is to flash the device using the downloaded FFU package, I have copied it to my desktop for easier demonstration, you can place it anywhere, now go open Windows Phone internals and connect your Lumia to PC. Then go to Flash section. Scroll to the Flash original FFU part and select the FFU of your device which you downloaded before. Now, the flash is one click away. It is recommended to have the battery level of your phone at least 50%. When you are ready, click Flash FFU image. Then your phone will automatically reboot and boot to red flash mode and will start flashing the phone. This can take some time, usually it will only take 2 to 5 minutes, do not disconnect the phone by any means, this can lead the phone to a bricked state, wait until the flashing is done. When it's done, the phone will automatically reboot out of the flash mode and will start to boot normally to the now freshly installed OS. Flashing is done and you will get to the out of box experience of the newly installed system. Set it up as usual and you have a fresh phone now. If you have Windows Phone 8.1 after flashing and need to be back on Windows 10 Mobile, then refer to our video guide about upgrading to Windows 10 Mobile. Before you proceed, please take a note of these notes. Since the previous method is only limited to Lumia, I'm going to explain this other method too which is for any Windows phone no matter the OEM of it, which means devices like the HP Elite X3 which are not Lumia are also compatible. For that, we will need the Windows phone image designer, download it using the link in video description, and I already have the FFU of my device downloaded. Then go to open the Windows phone image designer. Choose the folder according to your system being 32 or 64 bit and then go to image designer and run startup batch file. Connect your Windows phone to the PC. In the application, the option we need is the third option. Click on it and then click next. There, you will see that there is no device in flashable devices list even though the phone is connected. That is completely normal cause we need to manually switch your phone to the required mode which is the FFU loader. Turn off your phone. As soon as the device manufacturer logo is shown, press and hold the volume up button until you see a white centered thunderbolt and a cog. Then the device will be recognized in Windows Phone Image Designer as a flashable device. Now select the FFU of your device to flash. All left to do is flash the phone. When you are ready, click flash. Then the application will show you a percentage, wait till it reach 100%. Do not disconnect the phone. 
Also, the phone screen will not show any kind of indication that it is flashing, it will just stay static but the flashing is done in background. So don't think it's stuck or anything, monitor the progress in the Windows Phone Image Designer. When it reach 100%, you are done. The phone will boot to the newly flashed OS now. So, that is how to flash both Lumia and other OEM Windows Phone devices using the official firmware packages. Thank you and have a nice day.